Welcome back to God, Trucks, and Guns. Uh, today we're going to do a short video on color matching the Silverado. And I know what you're thinking. I've already did the chrome delete. Well, like I said in a previous video, me and my wife took some vinyl and did all the color matching that you see here with vinyl. Today I'm going to be taking it all off and we're going to be doing some Rust-Oleum peel coat which will be the same color as the truck as well uh, so we'll do kind of a step-by-step -step. i'm not going to go in and do a breakdown of how to tape everything up i'm sure you guys know how to mask and tape uh, when you're doing any kind of painting but we'll it'll basically be like a, a tear down a prep and a results video you know i'm not going to make it you know long and boring just something quick uh, show you before and after and uh, basically that's what we got going on today it's roughly 11 o'clock in the morning 60 degrees outside in, in east tennessee so you can't beat it we're quarantined in the house uh, what else we're going to do all righty let's show you some before shots here like i said everything that was chrome has been matched to match the body color of the truck. But as you can see right here, the vinyl started coming up and every time I'd wash it, water would get in behind it. And it's to the point now where there's really no saving it other than rewrapping it. Or what we're gonna be doing is silver Rust-Oleum peel coat got this idea off another video and it's supposed to work the same as plasti dip and i've done that on the chrome emblems and it's held up very well so since everything is already chrome underneath here this should stick fairly well so you know from 10 feet away you can't really tell anything but once you get up on it you can kind of tell you know in here in the corners i had no idea how to wrap <laughs> do any kind of vinyl wrap before so hopefully after we get all this masked off we can see what it's going to look like when it's all done all right so first things first we popped all the little plastic retaining clips out to get the shroud off next grab a 10 millimeter you can find one other than doing the emblems on the side. I'm just gonna do the grill this time around, see how it turns out before I start doing large surface areas like the bumper and the bumper caps. Uh, so I'm not sure, we might have everything done in this video, but for sure we're gonna have the grill done. We got all the bolts out of the grill. We're gonna take it off and strip it down. All right, so we're gonna start stripping away on the vinyl here.
All right, we got everything stripped off as far as vinyl goes. We got it wiped down with some Duplicolor uh, prep wipes, kind of letting that dry for a few minutes, and then we'll start masking it up and uh, laying on some coats. All righty, this is after, I'd say about five or six coats of the Rust-Oleum peel coat. Then after we got all that laid down as a good base, I went back over it with some Duplicolor Perfect Match. Just put one, one coat of this on there to see if it might match up a little bit better with the truck. And then after it's all said and done, we'll come back over it with just some basic clear coat and then we'll get all the masking off of it, install it, and see what it looks like. Alrighty, here's the final product after we got it all put back together. And before, right here where the vinyl was peeling up and the water was getting behind it, now that we've got it all painted, we won't have to worry about that. And we're out here in the sun, so you can pretty much tell how it matches. I just did the grill, um, just time permitting. I might go back and take the vinyl off here and the vinyl off here and redo these uh, with the Rust-Oleum peel coat. But I think it turned out pretty good. The, the can of Rust-Oleum was 10 bucks at AutoZone the duplicolor color match paint was like seven dollars i think and i had a can of clear coat but i think it runs you know anywhere from seven to ten dollars as well but i think it turned out pretty good taped up everything which was probably the hardest part I was taping up and getting a good even tape line and i went ahead and, and put clear over the black to make it pop a little bit but there you go that's the the final product doesn't look a whole lot different than the beginning of the video but got rid of the bubble and i think i think it turned out pretty well let me know what you think all righty guys thanks for watching uh if you don't mind go ahead and hit the subscribe like share button and all that uh leave your comments below um, like I said, finished product looks pretty good for, you know, less than 30 bucks, I think, to do the whole grill. Uh, I went ahead and got three cans in case I want to go back and do the other parts that I talked about. So, all in all, if I ended up going back and doing all of that and using all the paint, grand total would be less than $50 uh, to do pretty much the whole front end, including the two... Uh, two spots on the back bumper but like i said i appreciate you guys watching we'll see you next time